What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, Will Blandon. I wanna take the mi a minute to, in particularly talk to people that have been following me a while, that know about my history with Zetegrity, because you're gonna get a discount if you take advantage of what I'm about to tell you. Um, you're gonna get a 50% discount. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna lay out in this video my plan after my media company set up to set up a corporation to go public to possibly sell or have a continuation company that brings you in revenue for the rest of your life. I'm gonna give you the um, NAICS code we're gonna use. Um, as well as how I'm gonna fund it if nobody takes part of this. But I'm gonna give you everything except the business name, the legal breakdown, the setup, the structure. Number one, I do happen to have a catchy name that I was thinking about using. But when you're coming up with a name, you gotta have some default names in case for whatever reason you can't get the domain to match that name. So I got a couple of names. I'm not as concerned about the actual name, but the NAICS code is going to be technology. Now, some of you might be thinking, you don't know nothing about no technology. And that's true. And the beauty of my business structure, you'll see that you not only do not have to technic, you don't know, you don't have to know about technology all you gotta know is really about the business structure and how to take advantage of the system. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you how to take advantage of the system. And also, if you are in California or a high tax state, you're probably gonna wanna partner with me on this because it'll be less tax, well, you might be tax high, but uh, no, actually you won't. There's a way we can conceal even your ownership into this company you know there's a way we can do it and um, you don't have to worry about those California taxes I'm not a tax professional but I know it could be done I just want a disclaimer um, and you want to set this up in a way that it could be sold easily that's always going to be the traditional C Corp originally I wanted to say this would be like an LLC partnership and each individual will have your own escort and be partners with one entity. That could be done, but um, that's probably gonna go for a company you don't wanna ever sell. This one we're gonna try to take public. So you wanna set it up with the traditional C Corp you know, the old heads, much older than me, they look at traditional INC corps as more legitimate. Now, where it comes in, where you could possibly partner with me on this is, I don't, I'm not looking for funding any, any longer. I just wanna make that clear. But if somebody wants to come in as a partner, this is how it's gonna be done. And I'll also let you know on if I get no partners, how I'm gonna fund it. Bear with me. It's gonna be, be a long walk. So it's gonna be a traditional C Corp. Along with myself, I'm gonna have open slots for four other directors. Now why five directors? Five directors because you wanna have an odd number to break a tie because these directors are essentially gonna be the owners. So I will be the first director of the company and we're all gonna own 20%. And I'll let you know if we don't get all five, that's okay. The percentages will just be higher. Simple as that. Now, along with, we got the five directors out of the way. Uh, we're probably gonna need operators. Now, operators are basically the employees of the company. 
And now I happen to be the person starting the company. So obviously I would be the first officer, most likely uh, chief financial or not chief financial officer, but chief executive officer. I probably at some point will have two other officers. I know I need somebody that's going to be the tech. Now, here's where the tech person comes in. Guys, it's really simple. You can go hire an engineer or some kid that just got out of college that has a good degree, and he just has to be the face and the brand of the technology side. But here's what you want to do. You want to work with somebody that has an idea of capabilities of really doing something. And I'm going to tell you why in a minute. It's going to be a technology company, but you want to have somebody that's familiar with blockchain technology, um, social media, because what we're going to do, even though it's a technology company, we're going to produce an app at some point. And we're going to produce a new social media platform using blockchain technology. It has nothing to do with cryptocurrency, but the blockchain technology behind crypto I think makes for a good way of doing a social media platform there's a few already out there you might say well they already done it yes but we're doing it different and we're doing it for different reasons so you want to bring that officer on now officers are basically employees which means that you kind of want to be and you can be a officer and a director because when we're going for our first round of funding, the directors aren't getting paid first. The officers are getting paid because they're their day-to-day -day employees. So can you be an officer and a director? Yes, you can. Say, I might find the right technology guy to be the technology officer, and he might be like, okay, I want in. What's the cost? I'm gonna tell you the cost at the end. What's the cost for me to get in? I'm only gonna take five up to remember there's only four other members besides myself to get get in on this you know and uh anybody that was in zetegrity you're getting a 50 percent discount whether you are under me or not so listen to the end so now we have the operators uh what i had the technology officer i'm chief uh executive officer you might want to have, I might, even though I'm kind of the marketing department and I'm head of marketing as a CEO, I want to get somebody that's really good with photography, video content, obviously better than myself because that's going to be crucial to promoting the social media side. Because remember, we're trying to build a social media platform. Um, now, that's like three officers. That's basically all you need. But if all five directors want to be officers, we can work that out. But generally, you want to get people that you definitely got to get the technology person as an officer. You know, and he doesn't have to be a director or he can be, but he's got to be the face and the brand of behind the technology because they're going to see me as chief executive officer you know William Boosie Blandon high school degree so what but at least they see that I have like a marketing background so it makes sense for me to be you know executive officer but nobody's going to believe I'm the technology guy so you might want to have the technology guy the person that comes in it's going to be the photography basically they could be uh chief marketing officer or they could be chief financial officer as well if they're going to want to uh, manage the money you know because I might want to have a secondary person outside of me to manage the money and go for loans and credit lines so you have that all in place now as people come along let's say it's only me you know I'm the only director I'm the only officer as I hire officers, I'll be looking for potential directors. If no one comes in, I'm going to just fund this with money that I'm already generating. And loans I'm going after anyway for the media company that I'm about to set up. I'm only waiting to set that up 
for 2023 because I want to start it really at the first of the year. But whatever money I make, because um, I'm going to be applying for a lot of lines of credit with that company, is going into this project. Now, price. To do this technology company, it's not going to be that expensive as you think. Um, those of you have been watching me a while, we, we saw Zetegrity with their Black Table program. Essentially, it could have worked. It's just when you're dealing with people that's mismanaged the money, there's going to be issues. This is why I want a board of directors. This is why I want it where all decisions are made by the board of directors with people other than just myself. Now, because I'm setting this up, I can put a little clause in there that I cannot be removed as CEO or I cannot be removed from my position as lead director or head director unless I choose to step down. I, will, I can stay director for the rest of my life, but I can have it in there where I pick the next CEO or in the event of my death, this certain person will be in that spot because I want to make sure my earnings go to obviously pay off my go into my trust or whatever I want them to go to. Um, and this honestly could work. Black Table, again, is mismanaging money. You're dealing with mis, you know untrustworthy people. Not saying I'm the most trustworthy person on the planet. This is why I want other directors. And I initially thought you could do something like this with family, but you kind of don't want it to be family if it's a company you want to take public. For whatever reason, they don't want to see you, your brother, your sister, your mother on a company that you want to take public that you may want to sell. You see what I'm saying? So I... I I want to bring on other people. Now the price is going to be uh, basically for five grand for each one of those slots. But as so, it's less than five grand because it's five payments of nine ninety seven. So nine hundred ninety seven dollars, five payments. So it's a little less than five grand. But if you are in integrity and you can prove to me you are in integrity or still are you are gonna pay 50% of that. So it'll be five payments of only 497. So less than 2,500, you can get in on this. Now, this might not sound that big now, but you're, you're gonna get 20% of a company that if we take public or sell, could be in the millions if we do this right. Now, it goes it goes deeper. You gotta follow me. Remember I said if you were in California, this is gonna work out good for you. We're gonna do the corporation here in Connecticut. Because I'm here in Connecticut. So it doesn't matter if partners are from California. The main company is gonna be here in Connecticut. So you're gonna have uh I didn't want to do the anonymity. You don't want to do the anonymity because remember you gotta sell it later. So the anonymity is not in this play because that's out the window when you're trying to build something to sell. Um, and we could bring in a director or a, a uh, chief financial officer that already has good credit to back some of the funding. Now, why do I think this is a win? Because we're gonna do this in the capital city of Hartford, Connecticut. And Without talking too bad about Hartford, Hartford's a little run down. And but there's all I'm sure there's a lot of local city funding that if you tell the city of Hartford that if they back us, we're gonna provide jobs for people that live, work, or go to school in Hartford. That will sell, and we're gonna do that through the social media. That's how we're going to brand this. You know, we'll take cute pictures of us all saying we're helping out Hartford because that's stuff we are going to do in the future. That could be a year down the line. Once you have enough funding, 
and it, here's the beauty part about it all too the company's this is going to be a holding company yes even though this is a holding company this is going to what what's going to make the company more valuable we're going to form an llc under this holding company to buy the first piece of commercial property from funds we get from funding and why technology because technology companies get the biggest grants they get the most in local and state and federal state federal funding technology companies and we're not necessarily labeling a social media company because we're going to go after and may acquire other technology companies to give our to make us look more legitimate so we are taking advantage kind of on the local level on a local city level because we're promising the city of Hartford which is not a lie that we will provide jobs for people that live work or go to school you got to say that go to school part because there's college students in Hartford that we can provide jobs for and their jobs could simply be you know promoting the company to so it expands we can come out with a clothing line for it we can purchase real estate for it and I guarantee you Hartford will give us a place in what they considered a low-income area but if we revitalize that area a little bit and put money into it they will be glad to give you a piece of real estate for very, very cheaply. You know, so this is a kind of a way for you guys in California to invest in real estate where it's not in your name. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to get 20% of all the revenue coming in from this situation. Now, let's just say I get only one person. They were in Zetegrity. And they're only paying me five payments of four ninety seven, and that's the only person that comes around for a year. At that year, we can uh, basically restructure the articles where you own fifty percent, because you're the only person that came in within that year. So you own fifty percent. I own fifty percent. And at the, if we sell at that point where there's no other directors or owners 50% of that sale goes to you or whatever corporation or nonprofit you want to distribute the money to now outside of this I'm going to be building a nonprofit that's going to be for my legacy but this could be something that you could sell for millions because it is a technology company you're going to have somebody with real technology background somebody with real marketing background under me as an officer on paper you know and then you're going to have me that I'm going to look more trustworthy because I have even if I sell the company I can put that as you know a reference that I this is one of the companies I took public I brand it because I'm going to have a brand marketing company you know um possibilities are endless guys um, you definitely want to be a part of this if you're interested get in a strategy session with me the information is below let me know your time zone email me best time to call you what's your phone number very important what's your phone number best time zone and the only reason why I want the strategy session because I want people that want to take this seriously and I don't believe if you're just going to get on the phone and talk me up for free about your ideas that you're serious. So if you're serious only, the information is below. Get in the strategy session. Let's sit and talk about it. There's ways we can get this. And at the first round of money that the directors put in is going to the law firm. It's going to cost probably about $750 to set up the entity. Um, like I said, I might tweak the articles to benefit me as far as being a CEO. So you can't just kick me out. So the directors can't just kick me out and just get somebody else in there. I'm going to have a clause in there so that can't happen. But that's going to be the only protection that I'm personally going to want for myself. Now, if we sell this company, let's say we do sell it. 
the company might want the team intact. Who's the team? The officers. The directors are gone now. You sold the company, so the directors move on. But they might want the officers to stay intact and run the company. So in a sense, we literally sold the company and still have a job because we still got to get paid. So you see how you want to be an officer and a director? It's an opportunity to, even if we sell this company, you have your job. And honestly, at that point, I'm not going to care necessarily if they hire me or don't hire me because I don't necessarily want a job. I don't want to punch in a clock. You know, so we're gonna probably gonna have to work out a deal where I do it at my leisure. You know, if that's the case, or they can hire another CEO. They could just buy me out and walk away. Now, when should you sell? Now, I'm not a tax guy or a financial professional, but ideally, you don't want to sell till after two years. Because after two years, once you hit that two-year mark, you're gonna get their max funding. You know, that's when companies get their max funding after that first two year funding. We're going to get funding before that, but that'll be based on the ownership. Now, when you go to sell the company, the value is really going to be in the real estate the company owns, what vehicles the company owns. That's going to be the real value if you sell. But I would wait till two solid years before you even put it up for sale. But you can always take in investors. You can go do whatever legal procedures you got to do where you can legally take investors, you know, and go public, you know. Once it goes public, they can do whatever they want with the company. But this is how we're going to work this. Um, I hope you like this video. If you're interested, my information is below the video. Subscribe, like, comment. And let's get going, guys. Let's go public. We don't need the black table. We can start our own. Thank you, guys, and I'll see you next time.